All right, how's the team comp looking? Warwick Oriana is great. I mean, everything is good about our team comp except for the Echo Top. Kind of throws it off a bit. Not the end of the world, but it does throw it off a bit. Nautilus can AP stack pretty hard this game if you wanted to. Their team is actually really good too. Their team's kind of better because of the synergy. Silver Karma speeding up Nautilus and stuff and Graves. Tank Echo time? Nah, I'm still gonna go AP. Hmm, at least LeBlanc doesn't have Ignite, which is good. Takes off some of the early kill pressure to Oriana. You really want a 5 point, you want the top laner here and then the mid laner here. And you want the jungler here and then the bot lane here. But. Sometimes I'm lazy and I do this too. <clears throat> Any situation you're gonna go raw on Echo, or is it just too slow? I think it's too slow. It's okay in the jungle if you skip your item. Go Roa. Top lane is okay. Because usually those lanes are a little bit slower. What up, upload? Both looking for each other. He could have won the show that trade. That means that uh, Graves started bot. The reason why I hate plants, one of the, well, I mean, there's a lot of reasons why I hate plants, but it, it's, you can't really deep ward like you used to be able to because you can take the fucking cone uh, over into the bush and would avoid your ward. So it's kind of frustrating. Just makes top lane a lot more gankable just because plants exist. Because a lot of times that other ward is like the oh shit, it's too late ward, right? Like if I'm here, I guess not, honestly, like. So against the Nautilus, you need to be able to deep ward because if you don't see it coming by here, usually you're dead anyway. But because this blast kind of exists, you can't deep ward. Used to be before you have to dash over into the brush, into the brush, which would mean that you didn't have a dash for the gank, which would be like pretty good. So until you get a control ward in there. wants me to be super over. I'm literally being like in his face. Oh my god, I'm overextended. Come gank me. Damn. That hook sucked. He had to wait for my cooldowns. It's unlucky. He didn't wait. I don't think he understood that my cooldowns were like one second, two seconds. Whatever. He flashed. He flashed. Uh, we're actually gonna go. Okay. So because he did that, we need to go a little more defensive. We need to go like this. 
And we're actually going to TP back. It's not worth giving the Graves kill. I'd rather die, give Nautilus another kill. It's going to make my lane fucking hell, but... It's on the wrong key, dude. Holy shit. I think I would have just taken the Nautilus Flash. The dive is a bit greedy. And if you're gonna dive, you have to wait for my cooldowns. I probably should have pinged him, I guess. What was that auto range, man? What the fuck? A joke, or... They're gonna try to fucking farm me, probably. I'm not actually getting that crushed in lane or whatever. I thought that he'd use the two kills to like really just dominate, but he's being pretty passive. Bot just died. Was Graves bot? I didn't even look. He didn't get an assist, so I assume not. And creep block push me to the left. This is the situation we want to be in. If we have good board coverage, he's probably not going to get a gank off on me. Not a little more risky because he's six, but draw some pressure. He needs to be careful about ganking top when uh, Infernal Drake's up. What band is that? I have no idea. Hopefully she doesn't die to something she saw, okay. Get another pink. Uh, the matchup, well you have to win it early, right? You, you try to snowball the lead early by being like overly aggressive, and then if you get a kill advantage on him, then you can kind of dictate the lane. But if you don't, you're just going to control it. You have Warwick there. That was a really good fear. You might be able to live. That LeBlanc though, all the heal. Wow, well played. Holy fuck. The Maokai is good. He always plays well in my games. One of the few 80 carries that's pretty consistent. We're getting Brown Drake off that.
get some vision out. He still isn't trying to contest the... He, he's playing super passive for somebody with a fucking Spear of Visage, right? Like, I can't trade into that. Yeah, welcome to the club, pal. Uh, Legend Joe, dude, thanks for the follow. If I can control vision here, I can keep pressure. Crazy, stupid damage. The auto range is what's busted on Nautilus. Like, did you see how far he just smacked me from? Did, I mean, like, did you see how far he got the auto off? That's what's gross. He's starting to stand in front of the wave like a good player. Hey Diego time. Nah, I'm still gonna go Frost Queen. It's just delayed as fuck because of the start. She needs to get baited into doing the W. What the fuck was that flash, bro? Never mind, dude. You're a fucking genius. Stay on it, dude. It's fucking Nautilus. What's he gonna do? Don't hit him. The fuck? Why would you hit the Nautilus? What? <laughs> Rengar only player doesn't zap your fucking game knowledge. What do you mean? That's standard fucking game knowledge, bro. It has nothing to do with playing the champion. D versus Annie. Just be more useful than her. Push. I'm actually okay with the swap. He just 1v2 bot? And this guy's suiciding.
Get exhausted. Yo, is my team okay? What the fuck? That fucking smoke screen, man. Tried to fucking RRE him and I kept hitting that smoke screen. I need to eat and all. I should've just ulted early and just fucking trusted the Orianna. Alright, we're gonna have to sell some of these and start getting some actual AP in this bitch. I think I should just sell the Corrupting Pot and not give up more AP. Might be kinda greedy though. We'll see. What is he hurt to? Is he dying to the Nautilus again? They fucking died 2v1. Janna, Caitlyn. That's fucking beautiful. Not popping off. Yeah, he shouldn't be though. But he is. Good, Oriana. Thought I could bait her into going into me. Your team's not going for the Baron or the fucking Rift, dude.
Jesus. Newer smurfs tend to have higher MMR than your man, because you start in a lower elo and climb through the lower elo. Dude, why is it so hard for people to start the fucking rift with me, dude? Like, do you see how hard it is to get people to do the rift? For for what? Do they realize the rift decides the game half the time, right? I mean, come on. There's no reason to lose this game, though. I have TP. There should be more pressure because I have Rift Herald top. This this immediately gets them to back off of the dragon, in my opinion. They don't need to take a fight here. Dude, that Caitlyn is a god. Hmm. Wow, dude. Rift is totally not overpowered and shouldn't be focused at all, right? Right, guys? Rift is like not that big of a deal at all. I think my teammates are right, dude. Rift fucking sucks, dude. Who cares? Why prioritize the Rift? So bad. And you, you know, I should have went Dragon too. I should have went through the Infernal Drake. This shit's tilting me. I don't know why today people are not listening at all. You rush the Baron immediately because their bot lane is bot. Now they're grouped. You still rush it because they're poked down enough, but it's just like... You rush it, it makes the Graves like rush in stupidly, you pick him and then you finish the Baron.
Stay on the Baron. Stay on the Baron. Stay on the Baron. You just use mid. We don't even need to fight. Unless you want to alt in. I'm always surprised by people's like macro knowledge being so low. GG, not too bad. Only real fuck up was the dive. Which, I mean, it could have been on me. I should have pinged my cooldowns at the very least. I know, Rift Herald's so bad. <laughs> 